Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to create a timer using Premiere's text panel. Okay, so I have another tutorial on creating a timer, but I think that this one is easier, especially with longer timers, and it also renders 20 times faster. So here's what we're going to create. We have a countdown timer here on the captions track and it is completely customizable. So I can go in here and change the font. I can change the size and I can also change the position. And the way we're going to do this is by making a subtitle or SRT file, importing that into Premiere Pro and then doing all of the formatting there. Now, if you'd rather skip making the subtitle file, you can actually purchase these timer captions off my website. I have timers that are up to an hour long. They count up, they count down, they have hours, minutes or seconds. And it also supports a lot of different frame rates. And the reason I mention that is because the workflow that I'm about to show you only works with frame rates that are whole numbers. So let's start off by making these subtitle files. And for that, I'm going to go over to Google Sheets. But you can use any spreadsheet software that you have, whether that's Excel or Numbers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three column headings here. I want to add time code in and time code out and then subtitle. And what we're going to do here is add in the first two lines of our timer and then we're going to automatically fill in the rest of them. So under subtitle, I want to put in my first two times of my timer. Let's say we're making a timer that counts down from one minute. So the first time will be one minute. And then the second time will be 0, 0.59 seconds. And then we need to fill in these other two columns. Time code in is where that subtitle starts. And then time code out is obviously where it ends. And here we want to use hours, minutes and seconds. So the first time code in will be zero hours, zero minutes and zero seconds. The time code out will be zero hours, zero minutes, and one second. For the next time code in, I'm just gonna repeat that time code out. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it into that next cell. And then for the next time code out, I want it to be zero hours, zero minutes, and two seconds. And that's all the typing that we need to do because we can just automatically fill them in now. So I'm going to select the first cell, hold down the shift key and select the last cell. And then what I want to do is click this little blue box here and click and drag down and then it's automatically filled in the rest of that timer for me. And now we're done inside of Google Sheets. All I need to do is export this out. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the file menu and click download tab separated values. And now I need to convert that TSV file into an SRT or subtitle file that I can import into Premiere Pro. And to do that, I'm going to use a handy little website that's called editingtools.io. And this is a great website with a lot of useful tools for editors. And a lot of them are free and ad free. So if you do use any of them, I would recommend making a donation to these guys. And the tool that we're going to use here is we want to go up to tools and choose subtitle tool and converter. And what I'll do is I'll select that file that I've just exported out of Google Sheets. I want to convert it from a TSV file to an SRT file and I'll set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. And then I want to click generate and then I'll click download. And now we're done creating that subtitle file so I can jump back over to Premiere Pro. And what I want to do is switch over to my captions workspace. And here in the text panel, I'm going to choose import captions from file. And then I'll choose that SRT file that we just created and choose import. And then the format that we want to use here is the subtitle format and then I'll click OK. And now if I turn my footage off, you can see down the bottom here, we now have a countdown timer from one minute. So now all we have to do is format these captions. And to do that, I would recommend selecting the first caption going over to the essential graphics panel. And the first thing you want to do is create a style for this timer. So go over to where it says track style and you want to create a style or call this timer style and click OK. And now we can completely play around with the settings here in the essential graphics panel. So I can turn the size up. You'll notice that if you turn it up too big, the title will disappear. And that's because the titles actually have a text box around them. So if you find that you're making it so big that it disappears, that just means you need to make the text box bigger. Although the bigger your text box is, the less control you have moving it around the screen. I can also change the font and I recommend setting your alignment to left so all of the numbers don't move around as they're changing. And to change the position, you can actually just click the text box and move it around on the screen. And then when you're happy with how this looks, all you need to do is go back to that track style dropdown and you want to click this up arrow here, push to track or style. 
and you want to choose style in project and click OK. And now that's going to update all of the timers in this sequence so they all look the same. And so that's how you format your captions. Now when it comes time to exporting, there is one really important thing to keep in mind, and that is that you have to tell Premiere to include these captions in your export. So when you export your sequence, make sure you go over to the Captions tab and you want to choose Burn Captions into Video. And that's how you create a timer using Premiere Pro's text panel. Don't forget you can also purchase these timer captions on my website, but otherwise I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.